Recently, there have been a number of clinical trials uh, in an attempt to find uh, potential treatments for plexiform neurofibromas in neurofibromatosis type 1. Uh, one of those drugs, uh, selumetinib, is in the hands of the FDA currently uh, and is expected to receive approval for the treatment of plexiform neurofibromas in children with neurofibromatosis type 1. In the majority of patients treated with selumetinib, there has been a reduction in the overall volume of the plexiform neurofibromas, as well as improvement in symptoms such as pain and functional impairment uh, when, these, when these patients are treated with, with selumetinib. MEK inhibitors are a class of drug that were designed for um, a variety of different uh, cancers. And our understanding of the cellular pathways involved in neurofibromatosis, and particularly the RAS pathway, led uh, researchers to look at MEK inhibitors uh, and their potential role in treating the symptoms of neurofibromatosis. As you might guess from their name, MEK inhibitors in impact and inhibit MEK. Uh, MEK is one of the downstream effectors of the RAS pathway. And uh, when MEK is inhibited, uh, the increased rates of proliferation of uh, tumors can be uh, impacted and can uh, decrease the growth or even uh, reduce the size of tumors. We don't exactly know uh, all of the mechanisms by which MEK inhibitors impact the growth uh, and uh, impact the reduction in the size of plexiform neurofibromas, uh, but it is thought to act primarily along uh, its impact on the RAS pathway. Our understanding of the reason why patients with neurofibromatosis develop tumors, and specifically plexiform neurofibromas, is that the um, uh, RAS pathway is hyperactivated in the absence of neurofibromin. Uh, because that is underlying the growth of these tumors, uh, inhibiting the RAS pathway uh, is postulated to impact tumor growth, uh, and MEK inhibition is one strategy to impact the RAS pathway. From what we know from previously published clinical trials of selumetinib in plexiform neurofibromas and neurofibromatosis type 1, uh, the majority of patients with plexiform neurofibromas show reduction in the size of their tumors when treated with selumetinib. Uh, additionally, there's data that suggests that uh, symptoms such as uh, pain or functional limitation can also be improved with treatment with selumetinib. In general, selumetinib is uh, pretty well tolerated. Um, some of the side effects that are commonly seen uh, include rash uh, for post Pubertal patients, uh, an acneiform rash on the face uh, is quite common. And for younger kids, uh, a more diffuse uh, follicular rash can be seen. Um, we also have to monitor for liver function tests as well as cardiac function. Um, but uh, in general, most people tolerate the medication quite well. Clinical trials of selumetinib and other MEK inhibitors in neurofibromatosis have primarily relied on volumetric measurements of plexiform neurofibromas uh, to assess efficacy. Um, however, uh, future studies and, uh, and ongoing studies are also looking at functional outcomes, um, measuring uh, neurologic impairment, uh, cosmetic uh, changes, uh, quality of life as, as additional outcome measures for, for these medications.